Kitty, can you... Oh, jerk. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in my last video I asked you guys if you wanted to see the inside of my bullet journal and the overwhelming response was yes. So today I'm going to show you how I set up my bullet journal for the year 2019 and also how I set up my January bullet journal. This is my cat. She's right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move her. Kitty, please move. Thank you. So if you guys haven't seen already, I actually have a video of me drawing out the cover. I drew this myself to personalize it and I'm super proud of it. So I will have that video up in the little eye up here. So go check that out if you haven't. Um, but this is a Milico, I believe that's how you pronounce it, bullet journal. And I will have all of the products that I've used in this video listed in the description below. So if you would like to pick one of these up for yourselves, check the description of this video. So now I'm going to actually get into it. I do want to sketch something out here. I just haven't had the time to, but I just left this page blank so I could do something there. Then we get into the first spread. So this is just my year at a glance page. I just wanted to have like the entire year on one page. So I just kind of drew out all of the months of the year and over here I have a space for holidays, birthdays, and different like important days that are coming up. So if I have like a convention to go to or a vacation I can put it there and then I can highlight over here whatever day that is. Um, for these first few pages I did use Copic markers. I would not recommend using Copics because as you will see in the next few pages they bleed through a lot. Uh, once I get into my January spread I use pens that don't bleed and I'll get into that but for this right here these are using Copics. So this is just a page for my personal goals and you can see the bleeding is really bad over here but that's okay. Um, this is my first bullet journal so I'm definitely like still learning a lot of things <laughs> and I wanted to show you guys like I see a lot of plan with me videos that are like oh I'm gonna you know do all the things for the month um, but then you don't see any of it like filled out. Um, I wanted to show you guys what my bullet journal looks like with a solid week filled in so you can see like how I actually use it. So I hope this is uh, useful to you guys. But anyway, moving on, this is just a space for my personal goals throughout the year. Um, like for example in January I have do your best at your new job because I just started a new job and I thought that would be like a fun little reminder. I want to start an herb garden in February. In June, I actually misspelled it, this says Jane. I have a lot of typos in here because I did this all with pen, but that's okay. Um, but my husband is going to be leaving for school, so I have that written in here. Just like little personal goals that I have throughout the year I wanna put in this space. So this page is going to be blacked out for you guys just because this is my debt tracker. And I wanted to show you guys kind of like how I set up my debt tracker, but I don't want to show you like how much money I have in debt and who I owe it to. But basically, um, I just have, I think I'm going to show you guys this one because this is just stuff I owe my parents. Um, so this bar is like copied throughout the rest of the book. Um, basically, I just have the total amount up here and some like milestone numbers here, increments, so when I get to like a certain point I can just kind of like block that in with some of my marker. Just like a visual so I can see visually how much debt I have paid off. And then this little pie graph is my overall debt and then this little pie slice here represents how much I've paid off. So hopefully by the end of the year I will have a majority of this little bar graph filled in because one of my big goals is to eliminate a lot of debt this year. Um, I'm not in a huge amount of debt, but still. Uh, we've got student loans from my husband, uh, we have a car payment that we want to get rid of, just stuff like that, like dumb adulty stuff that it would be really nice if we just didn't have to worry about that anymore. And then on this page, again, I haven't filled it out, I would like to have a bill tracker, which I should actually get my butt in gear and actually make that spread because now I'm actually paying bills because it's January again, so that's what's supposed to be on this page. All right, so now we're getting into the businessy part. Um, like I've mentioned in a few of my other videos, a huge goal of mine for this year is to make my art more of a business. 
So I've started tracking the things that are important to me in terms of business. I do have a small space for like follower growth because I think that is interesting and important to track. But more importantly, I have a space for the income that I've made throughout the year and the different income streams that I have. Like for example, I have YouTube, Etsy, commissions, Twitch, brand deals, etc., etc. And then I also have my business expenses. So the stuff I spend on shipping, art supplies, new products, stuff like that. And these are the big things I want to plan this year. And I really want to fill this out and see what is making me money, what I should kind of focus more of my time on, um, and also try to put more effort into some of these things. Because, for example, I haven't done anything with Patreon for the past year. I would like to try that again and see if that is something that I can make work for me. So this is very important. This is probably one of my most important spreads I have going on in this bullet journal just because it has a lot of valuable information for me on what I can do to make my business better. And then here is the same as the goals page, but these are just business oriented goals. So as you can see, I have this a lot more filled out because I want, I have like a plan for this year in terms of business goals, whereas personal goals are kind of coming up as I see fit. But for example, in January, I have relaunched my Patreon, rebrand my channel. Something I want to do is make um, a sticker sheet every single month. So I have a nice collection of stickers. I also want to use stickers in my bullet journal that I made myself. I think that'd be really fun. So that is a huge business goal. I also have a, another Kickstarter that I'm going to be planning in March and April. So I'm really excited about that. I am making more chronically cute pins. So hoo-hoo, if you guys are excited for that, let me know. <laughs> um, and yeah, so this is where all of my business goals are going for the months. So now I'm getting into my actual January spread. I would like to make a little doodle here again, I just haven't had time. Um, but I just wanted to have like the month at a glance so I can see like how many weeks are in the month and kind of like see where I am. We are right here today and then I have another little goals page so I have my goals here but I also wanted to break it down into more specific goals on each of the month landing pages so again over here I have start new job working out I want to set up a psychiatric appointment for myself um, I got a bread maker so I want to try lots of new bread recipes and then I have business goals which is again rebranding, relaunching Patreon, stickers, I want to do Monday and Friday uploads, so stuff like that just so I can create like a more cohesive and more personalized goal list for each individual month. Here is my like actual like agenda book page I guess. Um, I have like a little key for what the different colors mean. Purple is art, pink is work, blue is health, and yellow is miscellaneous. So I have like all of my YouTube upload days. I have some doctor's appointments here. All the pinks are days that I work because I do have a part-time job. Um, yeah, and this is also filling out as I go so I can like have plenty of space to fill out what happens in the days. One of my pet peeves with like planners and agendas is when they give you like a tiny little space to write things in the month. I need like big blocks so I can see everything I have going on. Um, also on this side, I have a commissions list because I've opened up commissions. Email me if you would like more information on commissions, by the way, information in the description box below. Um, but I tend to get overwhelmed with commissions a lot, so it really helps if I have like a comprehensive list of all of the commissions that I have to do so I don't forget anyone. Um, and then down here is my habit tracker. Um, I have four different trackers going, one for a 30 minute walk, working in my sketchbook, doing the dishes, and doing laundry. As you guys can see, I am not doing great on my habit trackers. Um, especially with the laundry. This is, I'm doing laundry, just so you guys don't think I'm like some gross slob, but this is like doing laundry, putting laundry in the dryer, and then putting laundry away. And that is the part that always gets me. So I tend to have like piles of clean clothes just like everywhere, 
uh, which is a problem and something that I want to work on, but obviously I'm not doing a super great job of it. Um, but yeah, this is just so I can see what I'm doing or what I'm not doing um, and hopefully start doing the things that I want to do on a more uh, regular basis. Um, this is a work in progress. I am a work in progress, but that's what this is. And then I have um, just some blank space here. I might do some doodles and stuff. We're not, I'm not sure. So these are my weekly pages. Um, I'm actually really proud of how these came out. It's really simple, but again, one of my pet peeves is when people give you like a tiny space to write in what you're doing for the day. I hate that. So I wanted to be sure that I gave myself enough space. Even if I don't use it all, like here, all I did was work that day, so I only have work. But you can see like on this day, I had stuff going on, stuff due, a video to upload. I wanted to make sure I have enough space to write all of that. So up here, in these spaces is what I'm doing for the day. Down here is any exercise that I get in. Um, something that I really want to track more of this year is my exercise and getting more exercise in because it is very important for me and my health and I have been slacking on that a lot. So I really want to put more focus on my physical health. Here is just a dinner schedule. Um, some of the days are blank because that's probably like when we ate out or when I just made something like really simple. Um, but I like being able to have a place where I write all my dinner ideas. That way I know like what to shop for when I go to the grocery store. I kind of wanted to have a space for a grocery list and I couldn't figure out how to put it in with everything. So maybe in my February spread I'll have a space for groceries, but just for now I do not. And then something else that was super important to me was having a health tracker for every day. So you can see here I have a lot of different colors. Um, I have a space for feeling healthy, feeling fatigued, uh, feeling congested, chest pain, depressed and anxious, and then just plain sick. Um, I can feel many different things in a day. And so that's why I wanted a big space for this because most of the time one of these colors doesn't accurately represent what I'm feeling in that day. So I wanted a space where I could put many different colors. For example, on the first I felt healthy, but I also felt congested. So I felt good, not like I was sick, but I was also more congested than usual. Um, so that's why I wanted to put all of this here. Um, and then I also have the mental health as well. These are the two main things I battle with mentally. So I wanted to include those for sure as well. And this is awesome. I am so happy I have this because next time I go to my doctor, I can say like, oh, I started feeling congested on this day or I was having pain on this day. And that is super, super helpful to me. And I'm so glad I am doing this. So this is just another of the same. This is actually the week I am in right now. So you can see I had work on these two days. Um, I had a video due this day. Today is Friday and I have some stuff for Skillshare due today. So I have that here. And this is just more of my health tracking. Um, so like for example, on the 10th, I was feeling healthy, but also tired and also a little anxious. So I kind of have things like blocked out in that way. And I just, I'm very proud of this, I'm very happy. And then just more of my dinner ideas. I haven't filled out any of my exercise for this week, mostly because I haven't done too much exercise, which is bad on my part, um, but yeah. So this is also going to be blurred out for you guys, but this is my expenses and income page. Um, I don't really want to show you guys exactly what I'm spending all my money on, but you can kind of see I have another key up here for like the different things I'm spending my money on. We've got rent, we've got travel, groceries, shopping, miscellaneous stuff, and then the days are down here, and then all across here is where I'm writing in how much I spent and like what vendor I spent it at. And then I have a running total going down here. So at the end of the month, I can see how much money I spent in total. And then I have the same thing going on on this page, except it's for income. So I can see like how much I spent versus how much I made. Now this page is for like 
jobs. So my husband's job, my part-time job, that's going on this page. And this is for our conjoined bank account. This is like everyday living stuff, like adulthood stuff. The next page is the same exact thing, except it's for business stuff. So I have separate bank accounts for like the money I share with my family and then the money that's for my business. Those are two separate things. Um, so I thought it was very important to put two separate incomes and expenses pages because of that. So I've got up here, I've got like shipping, art supplies, products, fees, stuff like that. And then I have my income tracker over here. And this page correlates to, let me find it. This page back here that I talked about in the beginning. So I have the same information. So when I'm done with this page, when January is over, I can take the numbers in these two pages and plug them in here so I can track what I'm making, what I'm spending. And then in these pages, I break it down even further and I can say, oh, I made this much money doing these things and I spent this much money at these specific places. So this just breaks things down into more details so I can see like where my money is going and where my money is coming from. This is the last page for January, and this is just a social media growth page. Here I have the dates going down the bottom. Here I have the total, so like, I try to look at my follower count the same time every day. Um, sometimes I don't, because sometimes I sleep in, and that's okay. And then I just put like whatever number I have for that day. And then I subtract that number from the day before to find out like how many followers I grew on that specific day. Um, as you can see, some of these I've actually lost subscribers or followers. Like especially whenever I upload a YouTube video, I tend to lose people. So it's just good for me to track like just how many I'm getting a day. So if I see like a huge discrepancy, I can find out like what's going on. Um, if I've like done something wrong, if I've missed too many uploads, stuff like that. Um, and then I have a little bar down here for the total amount that I've gained or lost for that month. So I can again plug it in here. So basically this page is going to be filled out as the year progresses with the data that's in the individual months. This is my posting schedule. So you can see I have two different calendars here, Monday through Friday, and I have a little key for the different posts that I can make online. I have one for YouTube videos, YouTube stories, Instagram posts, Instagram stories, etc., etc. And I have a goal calendar, which is like my ideal, what I would like to post throughout the month. I would like to post like two YouTube videos, uh, two Instagram stories, three Instagram posts. And then I also have a reality calendar because as we all know, goals do not always transfer into reality. So I have something that I would like to follow and then I have what I actually post. So like you guys can see, I missed a YouTube upload on this Friday, but I did post one this Monday. Um, I didn't post anything on Instagram until, or no, Instagram stories. Um, I haven't done like community posts, so I can see like what I would like to do versus what I'm actually doing so I can try to better make my goals into the reality, if that makes sense. I can just kind of like compare the two and be like, oh wow, I'm really slacking in this area and I just have like a reminder to myself like, oh, I wanted to post an Instagram post three times a week, I'm not doing that, I should start doing that. And that's helpful for me just to kind of get my scatterbrained ideas in order and just like a constant reminder like, hey, don't forget to post things. And then I'm also seeing like if posting on these like specific days will give me more or less followers. And it's just, it's not like I'm trying to gain followers. It seems like I'm really follower oriented with these pages. But in all honesty, I think it is extremely fascinating to compare these and see like if I post more will this grow or will this lessen and it's just 
I don't know. I like doing stuff like this. It's fun for me. I like looking at the numbers and I just think it's, I don't know, it's very interesting. So there we go. From here, I will start February on this page, but we're still in January. So I've got all of these weeks to fill out still, but I hope you guys um, enjoyed that. And like I mentioned before, this is my first time doing a bullet journal, so there's lots of mistakes in here. Um, but I'm having so much fun learning um, and just, it's fun. I don't know. I'm really enjoying doing bullet journaling and I'm excited to see like what other things I can track and how I can better keep myself on task and improve my productivity. Um, already I feel like just doing these is getting myself so much more on task and helping me with the goals that I would like to achieve. So I'm very excited. Um, I did forget to mention I am using um, Arteza watercolor brush pens for these pages. They have not had any bleed through. I'm super happy with them. Um, the only thing is that the colors are a bit dark. So I would like to try other pens that are maybe less vibrant and more like a pastel, but I'm using Arteza for these pages and I will have those in the description box below as well. So that is what I have in my bullet journal so far. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, now I'm going to show you like what I keep everything in because um, I spent so much time like making the cover. I don't want to just throw it in my backpack because I'm scared it could get hurt. So I bought a really cool case to carry all my stuff in and I'm going to show you guys that right now. Okay, I had to zoom way out to show all of this, so excuse all of the desk stuff, but uh, this is the Lazy Auntie Portfolio Document Holder. I think that's what it's called. Um, again, I'll have this in the description box below as well. Um, but I bought this thinking it was going to be like this big and it turned out to be huge and beautiful, so I am so happy with this you guys like this video is not sponsored by anyone I'm just genuinely super happy with this product I'm I love it the color is beautiful it's made really well it has this handle on it but anyway so I'm going to open it up now and show you like what I carry with me so it has this nice zipper and it just opens just like this like isn't this oh so satisfying I love it okay so I have my bullet journal right in here so I can just flip that open Whoop. and then I have all of the markers that I'm using for bullet journaling right here and I have some pens as well. Then underneath that I have this little notebook and this notebook is drawn by Fukari. Um, I actually think she goes by Maka Brotka on Instagram now um, but she's one of my favorite artists and I just bought this notebook and it's where I put like a lot of my ideas um, like these were some ideas for different pins and charms to make. Um, I have like lists. I'm definitely like a list maker. So I have just like a bunch of different ideas, like product ideas in here. So I like to carry this with me just in case I think of anything new. And then behind her, I've got my sketchbook. Uh, this is just like my regular sketchbook where I do like sketching. I have a different watercolor sketchbook that I use for like studies and stuff, but this is just primarily sketches. So if I ever am like in the train station for a while or I need just like something to sketch on, um, I've got this guy. And then in this little pocket over here is where I have my sketching supplies. So I have a few different colored pencils. Um, I have like a regular graphite one and then I also like to sketch in pink and purple and blue so that's over here. And then in this pocket of course I have my iPad. So oh she's upside down. Um, but if I ever want to do like procreate or anything like that I've got my iPad with me as well. So this is what I carry with me every day. Um, when I go into work, I go into work into Boston and I have plenty of time on the train to and from work. So if I ever need to work on something, if I want to sketch, if I want to do some commissions, if I have some ideas I want to sketch out, I have it all with me all the time. And honestly, most of the time I don't use this stuff in here, but it makes me feel better and more secure if I just have this with me all the time. 
So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look in my bullet journal. If you would like to see more videos like this, please let me know. I am going to be bullet journaling for hopefully the remainder of this year. If you would like to see some like plan with me videos where I actually like create the bullet journal pages, let me know. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun filming this and showing you guys the inside. Um, I'm just really excited to like have this whole journal filled with stuff. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Like I mentioned, every single product that I have in this video will also be listed in my description if you would like to take a look at these products for yourself. Disclaimer, I do have Amazon affiliates, so if you do like grab anything, I may get a commission off that, but that's at no extra cost to you. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say in this video. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I appreciate you guys being here so much, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys!